Okay, after watching those videos, we got to see good examples of what some characteristics of autism really look like. So I sectioned those off into speech and communication, and then relating to people, events, and objects. So in the speech and communication section, we saw echolalia, which is the video of the hot dog. So the teacher says, hot dog, and the student says, hot dog. That's exactly what echolalia is. It's when the learner just repeats exactly what they just heard. We also saw an example of perseverative language. The student's at Chuck E. Cheese, she's riding a ride, and she can't stop talking about what her teacher's husband would do if she said hi. And that she just keeps repeating it. Even with all this fun stuff going on, it's a perseverative interest for her. So that's an example of what that looks like. Another example was scripting. So you guys saw a video of Life Animated Trailer. It's a great movie if you haven't seen it. But essentially, the student or the child um, on the spectrum, he scripts from Disney movies. And his family figured out, hey, that's how he's communicating. And so they actually joined him in that. And that's really cool. And then you saw AAC use where the student actually requests a utensil using their AAC device. And then you saw an example of literal language from the show Atypical, which Atypical is also a really good show if you haven't watched it, but it's on Netflix. Um, where you just see a great example of how individuals on the spectrum can really take everything that is said so seriously. And sometimes things can be a little confusing because typically developing individuals have a tendency to use a lot of figurative language, which can be hard for individuals on the spectrum to pick up on. And then in the relating to people, events, and objects section, we saw an example of a child not responding to their name. That's actually one of the first characteristics or um, markers of autism that can actually be noticed pretty early on because at the age where a child should be responding and communicating with their adult or parent um, and they're not, that's something that parents typically pick up on pretty quickly. And then we also saw an atypical use of um, toys or objects. We saw a child spinning pots and pans on the floor just to watch them um, spin, and he was kind of stimming and what that looked like and getting really excited. Um, that is not what that, the he was not using it with the intended use of it. So pots and pans you cook with, obviously, but he was using to spin. And then he actually had a toy car there. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but he was actually spinning the wheels on the toy car as well. And then we saw a video from Parenthood where there is a big reaction. Max in the show, he is on the spectrum, and he has a big reaction um, to change. And that's a big characteristic of autism. Um, when their schedule changes, we talked about how they had an attachment to sameness, and they want um, their schedule to stay the same. And if there is an unexpected change, sometimes they can have um, huge reactions that typically developing peers or individuals might not have. So that is a deeper dive into some things with autism, and we're just going to keep diving into this. Um, autism 101, we're covering all the basics here. So now you're going to watch the following two videos, and then you're going to head over to the discussion board and tell me the characteristics of autism that you noticed in the videos.